are tuned into Pearl Chat. Today we are in Birmingham and we've got some Ugandans that have organized a show called Blazing the Runway, organized by Hype Hype and Pearl Couture. They're gonna have presenters, artists, designers showcasing their stuff. I hope you enjoy the show. Blazing the runway tonight is uh, Naomi Liotta. Naomi, tell us about yourself. Well, I'm a designer from Birmingham. I'm focused on ladies' fashion and costumes. Yeah. And uh, with the designs that you're showcasing today, what, where's your inspiration? What is it about? My inspiration comes from like period costumes and um, some 1920s fused with like what I really like and materials and that sort of style. So, okay. Yeah. And uh, with obviously, it's about your designs. Yeah. But um, where do they originate from? What inspires you to do them? Where's the passion from? Yeah, mostly it's history. I like looking into history. I like looking into black history particularly. So I look at, you, you hear a lot about um, the Gene Kellys and the Sid Charisse's, but there's also a lot of black performers and it's nice to think how they were in the past and how they used to look and because I look like that. So I'd want to look at what they look like and inspire me that way. So, so obviously, looking at you, do you go for the natural look? Definitely, or is, yeah, is yeah. It's a recent thing. So I went natural, yeah. embracing what I want to look like. Yeah, yeah so yeah, that's what it is. And uh, with your with your designs, do you? Uh, we've got this thing where we've got issues with, uh, especially the black models, the uh, African models. Yeah. Is it catering for the size zeros or? No, no, not the size zeros. Like everything is it's eight to twelve. My range is at the moment, but it's for curvy girls. 
Yeah. So you can still be slim and have curves, or you can you can be big and you can have your curves and you're shapely. So it's all girls. Yeah. And if someone wanted to, obviously we're going to be having a look at your designs. Yeah. If someone wanted to get in touch with you, how can they get in touch with you? They can find me on social media, Naomi S. Liotta. Or Naomi Etliata at hotmail.co.uk. Okay. okay. Naomi, thanks for your time. Thank you. Right. Yeah. Are tuned into Pearl Chat. And another set of designers today is Leroy James and uh, Mikhail Douglas. Mikhail Douglas. They're going to be showcasing their stuff today. And Leroy and Mikhail, could you tell us about your design? Okay, well, you mentioned designers. We're not really designers. What we are, we um, clothe um, exclusive American designer clothing from 7th Avenue in America. And Leroy James has been doing this over 10 years. Yeah, I've been doing that for the last 10 years and supplying all the people from all around Burnham, Manchester, Wolverhampton, even as far as um, uh, Scotland, okay. London. Manchester, they come to me because I got the thing what they need. Okay. I know what they want. And right. wh what are your designs about? Everything that they want. Okay, so it's catered for the person themselves? Yes, yes, yes. Big people, small people, you know, whatever they want, I can get them. Okay. Don't care how they're big, don't care how small they are. I can find something for them. Okay, we we'll look forward to seeing your designs tonight. Yeah. And uh, you said you, you also have a, a, a branch in America? Well, the actual clothes come from America okay. and the store is called 7th Avenue Manhattan because Leroy, joins, Leroy James goes to America on a regular basis. But our store is situated on Dudley Road. Number 355 Dudley Road. Okay. Yeah, you can find me there. Okay. Yeah. Thanks, guys. We look forward to seeing your designs again. Sure. Thank and you very uh, much. enjoy the show. Thank you very much, everyone. Bye. Goodbye. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got the lady herself, and uh, I believe your designs are PK unique. Yes, are. Ladies, please tell us about yourself. My name is Patience Kofabia, aka PK Unique. I am a stylist and a designer. I have a small business at home, which I run, which I create westernized clothes with a touch of African culture. Yeah. And uh, where, obviously, you said westernized clothes with a touch of African. That's where you get your inspiration from, right? Yes, yes, I do. Um, because I find that mainly in this country, the ladies don't like too much of the full attire. So they want just a touch of African culture within maybe a black dress or a uh, so pair of shorts yes, that yes. they'd like to wear, yeah. Okay. And that's it. Give us a taste of Africa. Yes, of course. Yes. And obviously you're going to be showcasing your stuff today, right? Yes, I will be. Um, you say that you are also a mother. Yes, what I is am. it like running a business like this and being a mother? Oh, very hectic. But my eldest is 16, so it's not as hectic as that. So yeah, my small, my little one is eight years old, so it's not too bad. When they were younger, it was quite difficult, but as they've grown, it's much easier now. So it's not too bad. Yeah. Thank you very much for your time, and Thank we look you. forward to seeing your Definitely. designs today. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, PK Designs, you're tuned into Pearl Chat. We'll be back right after this. How are you doing? I'm doing fine. It's a beautiful event today. Lots okay. of beautiful people there, so we're just here chilling. Okay, Andre, tell us about your music. Uh, my music is going well. I was touring the UK last year. I plan to tour Africa this year, so this is my first major tour of the year. And I'm, I'm working on a new album and it's going well as well. I just started producing it. Okay, and what, what kind of music, what, where, what genre would you class yourself in? I do um, R&B, but with African drums. Okay. Yeah, so instead of slow drums, it's fast drums, but it's R&B. So melody, it's got an, a, a, an uh, African beat to it. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, I call it Afro R&B. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Andre, we look forward to hearing your music tonight and, tonight, and uh, thank you for taking time out to speak to us. Respect. Thank, thank you also okay. for taking time out to speak to I in it. Respect. Well, like, you want to be a millionaire, huh? Yes. You and how is it going? It's going all right. It looks like it's, it's getting there. A lot of people are receiving a single in quite a, a brilliant way. The crowd was awesome. Big up to High Pie for letting me get me involved with the whole runway and fashion show. I like African fashion. I actually brought a couple of jewelry and a couple of teeth as well. Because, you know, that's what it's about. But yeah, millionaire is going quite good right now. You're going to be a millionaire soon anyway. I hope you? so. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Mullah? Yeah. Yes. Well, what does Mullah mean? Um, basically, I was named after um, a footballer. God bless my mom and my dad. They named me after a German footballer called Arthur Muller. So yeah, a lot of people take it as like, yeah, Muller means money. But for me, it's deeper than money. Yeah. I was named after like. Yeah, that, that, that's what it means to some people. It doesn't yeah, mean money. Yeah, money. Yeah. Or some people will tell you that Asian people anyway. 
they'll tell you that it means wise man and so forth. So I guess, I guess it means good things anyway. That's why we're doing good things. Yes, yes. That's why we're trying to be millionaires. Yeah, rep representing Zim Zim. Yes, yeah, so I'm representing Zimbabwe. I'm from Zimbabwe, Bulawayo. And at the same time, I'm here to hold it down for Bulawayo for all my flight mantelers. For all my millionaires, wannabes out there. Work hard, make sure that you go to college, go to uni, do everything that you have to do to make it happen. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. Mula. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Okay. Shy, we we'll look forward to hearing you tonight. But you don't seem too shy at all. I don't know why they call her shy. There is nothing shy about it. I had a feeling she was going to tell me this. I had a feeling like you were going to go on about me being shy. I am shy. Maybe in the bedroom. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. Thank you, darling. Thank you. today mm -hmm. and obviously you told us about what inspired you but we want to hear some more about you you want to know more about me yes. what exactly do you want to know about me you want to know where you get your inspirations from the bracelets where people can get your stuff from if you've got a website more about you so people that need to contact you can contact you all right okay um where did I get my inspiration because I was born in Africa I'm African and then I thought I need to pay something back to my motherland. And that's why I started this All Things African, to promote our local artists, to end their living through the work they are doing. Uh, we are based in Manchester. Uh, you can get me on 0764-535-835. Or we have a unit in Longsight Market, that is in Manchester. I'm also on Facebook, Hamid Ambaga. Also have another Facebook which is uh, All Things African. You can just like my page. So our website at the moment is on uh, maintenance. So if you want to see most of our products are available on our Facebook. Thank you very much for your time. Ladies and gentlemen. You have yeah. So we have another designer here who is Hi. Zisu. Hi. Yeah. I'm here mainly helping out Sister Hamida. Okay. I uh, did the styling for her, and that's about it, but yeah. And you, are you you're part of All Things Africa, or you're Zisu? I'm Zisu, but I styled for Hamida today. The designs were beautiful today. We really appreciate what you ladies are doing, and uh, keep it going. No, thank you. But it's and all together, hard. we think we can make it. So we, our message to all Africans, we need to help out and support our local artists because together we can make it. So support Africa, support our local artists. That's my message. Thank you very much. You're welcome. All Things Africa, thank you very much for your time. Actually, the necklace, tell us about that brilliant necklace that you've got on today. Hi, this necklace is Maasai necklace, uh, the tribe of Maasai, which is uh, mainly in uh, Kenya and Tanzania. So it was done with one of our artists, which is called Nicholas. So that was actually made here in England? No, no, no. This is made, it was made in Tanzania okay. with one of the artists which we support in Tanzania. As I told you, all things Africa, 90% sorry, 90% of the products are coming from Tanzania. So we work one-to-one -one with the artist. So we don't do only cloth. We do also jewelries. We do um, artwork for the walls. Um, anything actually literally you need from t uh, Africa, we are there for you. And the other 10% we get from other African countries, a uh, place like Kenya, Uganda, Malawi and the other African countries. Not only in Africa we support, we have also some of the designers which are here, which uh, they support us, support them like Zisu, 
We also have the designer like uh, Mavis, which also tailor our things in here. Thank you very much. You are welcome. As I say, ladies and gentlemen, all things Africa. The name just says it all. Keep an eye out for the website, which is all things Africa. Also today, they have got some food lined up today. The food is actually Chinese food, uh, which looks really nice. I'm going to have to have a taste of that. Unfortunately, they haven't got any African food, but Chinese food will do. We'll be back right after this. Entertainment. Thank you for representing Pearl, um, Pearl, Pearl Couture and Hype Hype. He won an award with you. What was the award about and why did he win that award? Well, he won the Inspiration Award because he's, he's quite inspirational. You know, he um, mentors quite many. He uh, promotes so many people. They don't have to be Ugandans or East Africans. He, grows, he goes all the way out, you know, to promote people. And, you know, there's not many people like Hyper. He's quite inspirational. So. The way, there is one more person like Hyper, which is you. <laughs> you do you do a lot for the community. And obviously, like today, you've made an effort. You travelled all the way from London to Birmingham. How do you manage to fit all these things in on top of being a mother? I think it's um, if you have a passion for people. I do have passion for humanity. And, and that's it, really. 
With regards to the um, community, there's uh, quite a few um, community events that are happening and I've been told that there's a, an East African community event. Are you part of that community as well? Um, I'm part of the East African community event, but when they invite me, yes, I do turn up to support. And I also support them um, through my TV show. Pauline Long, we really appreciate your support for the community and we appreciate the BEFTA Awards as well. But we would also like to know um, what inspires you to do these things. I know you, you know, it's about the community, but what inspires you? I think I'm, I'm inspired by the fact that we do have just one life, you know, and I want to die empty. I want to give every, all I have right here on earth and I think human beings we've been born to to do things to innovate to create to give back you know that's what we've been born to do and that's what I'm doing what what is the best word if you were to describe yourself how would you describe yourself in in just a few words wonderful wonderful I love that you are wonderful yes I am now I've got all to find himself, the man from Ghana. This is a guy who brought you a, a song called Small Guy You Don't Know The Thing. Now, the first and foremost question, why was the song changed from small girl to rude girl? Well, it wasn't changed, it was just spiced up. What happened was that the song got signed to Ministry of Sound, so we just repackaged it to sell it to the world. Yeah. Yeah. Repackaging. Now, how long how long in London for how long in the UK for? Well, I go back and forth. Like, I have family here, so I go back and forth, basically. All right, all right, all right. now, you've, you've, you, you, you're a Brazilian, uh, Blazer Runway. Yeah. How have you found it? It was, it, was, it, was, it was crazy. I mean, the runway was actually blazing, <laughs> you know. Yeah, it fits the name. The models look good. The clothes, everything was on point. Like, I like the atmosphere, pretty ladies around. I can see all the guys checking them out. It's good, man. <laughs> now, 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 now. As you've performed here in uh, Birmingham, yeah, how do you find? I mean, do you? I mean, I'm from London personally. Yeah. How, do you find the accents a little bit funny? <laughs> I don't want to get into trouble, but it's a little bit different. Yeah. I like to say different. Now, as I'm, I'm Ugandan. Yeah. I appreciate what you call yeah. Afrobeats, yeah. African music. Yeah. Now, what genre do you find yourself in? Afrobeats. Afrobeats. The thing is that African music. Afrobeats, they are the same thing. It's just nomenclature, it's just names. When we do it in Africa, we can call it African music. But when it travels and comes to the Western world, then it's called Afrobeat. That's, that's all it is. Okay, as, a, as an African who's representing, I mean, your track, um, Rude Girl, Small Girl, Rude Girl, yeah. as you've repackaged it, yeah. it's been a worldwide hit. Yeah. I mean, my son, who's 10 years old, he loves that song. Yeah. Not only him, even I love that song. Yeah. I mean, how, how, has, that take, has that taken you to the next level? Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, we're just doing our thing back home. And to be honest, that's the first song that took me to, you know, the next level, like you said. It's taking me all over the world. I've been to everywhere, basically. You know, so it's, it's, it's a good experience. And it shows that it only tells me to be humble and to work harder. That's all it is. Yeah. Hyper Hype Man, Hyper Hype Man, you've got Blaze The Runway. What yeah, is man. now? How did you come up with the name Blazer Runway? Blazer Runway, you know, each and every time when I crush a mic, just blaze. When I see the girl, they got a blaze. So when they walk the walk, got a blaze the runway. You know, there's a lot of runways, there's a lot of topics that come up like rock the runways, run the runways. Like, so we came up with Blaze the Runway because I'm blazing all the time. It's like, like, like this, you know. Do, do you see? Now, how have you found the evening so far? Hey, yo, big up, Bald Shot TV. Yeah, you know, remember it, it is like, alongside my homeboy, we are asking Bobo, you know. We've been blazing for a long time, and we're keeping it real tight, you know. I love Puncha TV, and we're keeping it going like blazing runway. So we're not keeping running for the runway, blazing, blazing. Yeah. I just want to tell Puncha TV, this is a main man, the main organizer of Blazing Runway. We need to show this man some proper respect. So please run away. Place microphone check when I be rolling back and from place. It should never sound from the kingdom come and from the UG to the full fee. I go to Chinatown that represented for the place and run away for the pulp chat show. Like that, you know? Man, what, 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 what have you got? Let's have a look. This is called The Boss. 
The boss. Yeah, that's the boss. Now, where have you gone here, man? What, what's in this? Yo, this is a pimp juice. So, there are a lot of rep recipes over here. So, um, if I tell you what's in there, you're going to kill me first. Because there's a lot of things. There are my boys already. <laughs> I've been, I've been. Yeah. All right, bro. All right, bro. Yeah, and she's the model over here representing from SV from Benefit Street. Yeah, Benefit Street. She's uh, one of them boys over there, you know. All right, bro. Thanks a lot for your time. All right. So my final words to everyone and all the beautiful people who are here tonight. I really appreciate you for coming for this beautiful event. Thank you so much. I really like you. One love, everybody. So boom, fire. Mumba, tamuba, tamuba, zingaloba, high path, hey, nagamo. Yeah, my blessed. This is Raskin Baba One. Fire can down. One love. One of the models that were modeling tonight was Shell Lewis. Shell, what was it like taking part in the modeling today? It was a good experience. Uh, I, I did enjoy it. The kind of have to wear cultural clothes as well, which is different, and I love the whole diversity of it all. So with me, I just had fun with it, really. And you, you've been doing modeling for quite some time now? Um, four years off and on, but mainly for the last two years, yeah. Uh, as you said today you were modeling uh, outfits that were uh, African culture yeah, yeah. is it the kind of thing that you'd wear out on a normal well, day in the, yeah it's for me the summer my, you know, my partner's from Zimbabwe so I know a little show now and working with Hype Entertainment because I'm the vice president you know I picked all the accent you know actors languages along the way so I've always been interested in cultures anyway before this so I'm hoping to eventually do my own clothesline, which is called Connecting Cultures, so watch the space. <laughs> one of the uh, performing my, my songs, my number one single that's out at the moment, Blessing. If you're on YouTube, you can check it out. EBS Blessing. Yeah. One of my songs. And uh, the song that you're going to be performing tonight, what is it about and where do you get your inspiration from? Wow, that's a good question. Um, I'm a, I think I'm... Emotional as I say I'm an emotional person. So I write my songs based on what I feel. Uh, yeah, everything around me basically. You know. So so what are you feeling right now? Well <laughs> I'm happy man. You're happy? I'm happy, I'm happy. So the song's gonna be a happy song. It's a happy song, definitely. EBS, thank you very much for your time and we look forward to hearing your yeah, happy song. Definitely, definitely, thank you. Okay. Big shout out to you guys, man. You guys brought I am Body Africa all the way. And I'm wrestling. I like the Thank you very much. Yo, yo, this is Atum Pandey talking drum from Ghana, Power Chat TV. Keep it locked. One time. Ta da da. Say boom. Fire.